indigenous people. That is why we are with indigenous people, because we believe in indigenous knowledge. And this knowledge is, is about to be lost, both in Indonesia and in Taiwan. So it's great, very, very grateful for that comment. Thank you. So, I'm sorry, I'm going to stay on this picture until you understand the picture. Okay? So we have a Western farmer, okay? He's unprotected. He has raw wind. No break, you know, no break. Then it comes to this. This is the fence section of the field station. Then it has all these plants. You can but those were so small at that time, you know. But most of them were this big. I mean, I didn't near know they had any significance in slowing down the wind speed, you know. I didn't know. I, I thought they had to be bigger, you know, like one and a half meters, things like that. But they were, you know, a lot of them were 30, 50 centimeters. Because this is just from 88 to 92. This farmer, it was not a very good grade. He had to re sow seven times. Seven times? That means you get a very short growing cycle. You understand? Every time you re sow, you lost a week or two weeks. So you're getting to the stage where you can hardly get a harvest. And he got 40 out of these big baskets and they come. That's what he got. While Musa over here, he got the biggest crop in 20 kilometers radius which was 130. But the very interesting thing is if you walk out on Musa's field, okay, and you're close to the field station, it is so dense, it is so green, it is so tall. You can see, actually, he's standing next to the fence, and here are the buildings of the field station we saw earlier. Look how large that is. But if you walk further into Musa's field, away from the field station, it was less dense, it was less green, drier, not the same green color, and, and shorter. So, actually his crop looked like a slanted roof, like that. And you know what Musa said when he got that crop of 130 and he became famous in the region for having the big... That's a big thing, you know, the farmer with the biggest crop, that's big! Huh? Everybody talks about him, Baron. Don't they? Huh? Everybody. You know, even in Taiwan we have on the television, oh, a very good farmer here and there, don't we? Or on the radio. You know what he did? When he got the biggest crop in the region, you know, 20 kilometers, because of the field station, you know what he did? He came up and thanked me and said, Oh, you wise white man, you have helped me so much. You did this for me. No, he didn't do that. He didn't thank me. And I used to say, if they never thanked me, I have succeeded. That's a revolving thought for you. He said, he said, I'm blessed by God. And he went up to the village and he gambled away all his money. That's what Musa did. But, as he was doing so well, farmers, they have a social security system. Farmers who did very poor, they go and work for a farmer who does very well, and they're sort of, sort of paid in kind. So that's how they can get some food to survive and they can shift this around according to the variations. So the farmers who worked for him said, this is not true. This is the field station. And they spread the rumor in the region that actually it was good to have trees. Now why did they not have trees? You know why they didn't have trees? They didn't have trees because birds sit in trees. Of course! That's why they didn't have trees. Oh, yes, because birds eat millet and they sit in trees. So we cut down the tree and we don't have a bird in the tree. And they don't eat the millet. Well, they didn't solve the problem. I don't have the time to go into all that. But you understand, they were enemies of trees. 
So actually, he never shooting himself in the foot. It wasn't a matter of desertification, per se. It was a matter of destructive practices, like, you know, from Indonesia, people burning for us, whatever, you know, just, I want this piece of land, I want to make a buck, and they just think short term. We were just in Ghana, Joe and I, we talked to people, they said, we never wanted to lose the forest, but we did destroy it. Any questions on this picture before I go on? Anything unclear? Okay.